What's going on, everybody? Spunky Nights and I want to come to you guys for another video. So, former NFL player and current um, NFL writer Jill Brandon um, recently did a list of breakout players for 2019. And he named, of course, um, Sidney Jones, Eagles cornerback Sidney Jones, as a player that he sees having a breakout season. season. I did a video about this, um, I think about a couple months ago, I did a video about will, he, will Sidney Jones have a breakout season. I'm going to read to you guys um, what Jill Brennan had to say about Sidney Jones. And, of course, I'm getting my thoughts afterwards. So, with that said, let's get started. Here's what Jill Brennan had to say about Sidney Jones. He said that Jones was ticketed for a first-round draft slot until he suffered an Achilles injury at his pro day, knocking him into the second round with the Eagles, who, who were always so good at ferreting out opportunities like this, scooped them up for his potential. He sat out for most of 2017, then battled a hamstring injury in 2018 that limited him to nine games and four starts. If he can stay healthy in 2019, he has a chance to seize the number one cornerback job. Jones looked the part at times in OTAs and minicamp, taking reps at left corner. He has two traits that, 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 that lead to success at the cornerback position. Size, he checks in at six foot tall and 181 pounds, and exceptional quickness. You have to give the Eagles credit for making a pick, a make, making a pick two years ago with the future in mind, especially if they wind up weeping the rewards of the foresight in 2019. So that's what um, Jill Brennan had to say about Sidney Jones. And like I said earlier, man, um, I made a video, a video about this a couple, um, a couple months ago. I made a video about Sidney Jones having a no, um, having a um, breakout year, and when it comes down to it, man, I still do believe in Sidney Jones. I still do believe in Sidney Jones. I know some Eagle fans are kind of giving up on him, but I still do believe that Sidney Jones, you know, um, can still be a great player for the Eagles, and I and I still do believe that he will reward us for drafting him in the second round. It was a it was a big you know chance we took, you know, you know obviously like 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 Jill said in the um in the article you know he um suffered the Achilles injury at his pro day he he was going to be a first round pick and the Eagles probably would have would have taken him over Derek Barnett I, I I truly do believe they would have taken him over Derek Barnett had he not gotten hurt but it worked out where obviously his injury unfortunately but it worked out where we ended up getting both him and Derek Barnett we got Derek Barnett in the first round of course and got him in the second round. But when it comes to Sidney Jones, man, um, we took a big chance on him, you know, with the, with the Achilles injury. But, yeah, it was about the long-term future in mind, which is why on my old channel I was saying don't rush him back. And I'm glad that we're all the Eagles did not rush him back. But he, he's, he's young. He's still extremely young. So recovering from an Achilles injury for him is a lot easier than a guy, let's say, in their – um, late 30s, you know what I mean. So he's a he's a you no know, he's still a young guy, very young guy. He's only 20, I think like 20, I think he's like 22, 22, 23 years old. So he's still a very young guy, and the potential is still there. We have saw we have seen flashes of that potential. Um, you know, during this during this limited playing time, 2018 was a was supposed to be the full year for him. You know, after recovering 2017, but unfortunately the hamstring, you know, the hamstring was bothering him for most of the season. But I have not given up on Sidney Jones. I still believe that Sidney Jones can be a great player for the Eagles. I think I think he could potentially be our number one corner down the road. We'll see about that. But 2017 is a make it a break a year for him, I think. I personally think if he does not really show he does not step up in 2019, then that that could be all, all she wrote, you know, if you know what I mean. So I think 2019 is crucial for him. Um, hopefully with a long off season, you know, workout, he comes back, you know, and, you know, he's ready for the season. But I think it could be a make it or break a year for players like him, Matt Collins, Shelton Gibson. You know, a lot, a lot of these 2017 draft class players, you know, that's still on our roster. So, Sidney Jones has to have a big year, man. You know, he has to have a big year. Uh, you know, the, it, his long-term future with the Eagles definitely depends on it as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah. I have not given up on Sidney Jones yet. I still think that he could be a great player for us. And I'm and I'm crossing my fingers. I'm truly crossing my fingers that 2019 um proves to be the year of Sidney Jones. Where, you know, he he, he um 
we we started getting back you know what we what what we invested in him you know we took a big chance on drafting him in the second round because because um you know we saw the, the the potential of him in the future the guy was absolutely shut down stud in college he definitely was and he was well on his way to being a first round pick you know and um unfortunately that injury happened to him man it it, it happened it happened to him but I'm still hoping that that injury was a you know was a um, blessing in disguise if you will because he ended up landing with the Eagles and we ended up having a very you know very good you no know, corner maybe not necessarily shut down but pretty damn close to it because he was a shutdown he was a shutdown corner in college but pretty close to a shutdown corner um that, that's my hope man that's definitely my hope that we end up having that you know in 2019 and beyond I um Sidney Jones I still stand behind you brother man I still stand 100 percent 100% behind you, and I hope in 2019 you go out there and you tear it up. You know, some, a lot of people have given up on you, but I have not given up on you. So I really do hope that um, 2019 truly is a year of Sidney Jones where he makes his presence known known to the rest of the league, and he, you know, he really, you know, he really puts himself on the map. You know, um, here, here's I'm definitely rooting and cheering for um, Sidney Jones in 2019, but we shall see, man. Um, we shall see. You know, we definitely shall see. Um, training camp is obviously at the end of this month. You know, July 1st today is, and training camp is in a few weeks. So we'll, we'll see, man. We'll see how he looks at training camp. We'll see how he looks in um, in uh, preseason as well. Um, he's going to make the roster. I think that's an, I think it's 99%. No, 99.9% .9 certain that he's going to make the roster. But what he does when he makes the roster in 2019 remains to be seen. But I have but I have not given up on Sidney Jones yet. But this is definitely, like I said, a make it or break a year for him. And we'll and we'll see what he does. But anyway, man, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, man. Um Sidney Jones, like I said, I still believe in you, man. I I really do hope that this is a year of Sidney Jones where he he you know when he steps it up, man, because it's either it's either now or never for him, I think. You know, for guys like him, Matt Collins and Shelty Gibson, it's either now or never for them. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. As always, go birds. Sparky Nice 91 is out of here. Fly, go fly. Peace.